everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and today, today we are going plowing before I can go plowing I have to do a bit of work on both the tractor and the plow so I have to change the points on the plow so you can see there it's starting to wear level so it's time to turn the point so there's another end on the point there so it's just a matter of opening the two bolts turning it around ready to go I also have two broken points that one there you know at the back that one is split and when I go take it off it's going to fall apart and that one the bottom half for whatever reason has come off so I have to go get two points I have to turn the points in the plow first and then I have to walk around and look inside the tractor and I have to put back on my four wheel drive shaft on the tractor so you can see there I have the two bits out so what happened with that was me and my sister went off to go spreading uh, pipe and slurry um, my sister worked the pump and because um, my father was busy getting fertilizer out and um, just as we were coming in the farmers avenue oh christ the rattles and the bangs and the screeching I didn't know what was wrong so I got down and looked and what had happened was can't really see the other end there now excuse the dirt I have to clean out the tractor as well um, the other end the bearing the two bolts that holds the bearing in the housing in the middle of the tractor had come off uh, the two bolts just disappeared the bolts weren't there there was nothing and it was rattling around in the housing and that's what the noise was and because I didn't have any bolts I had to take it out it's only it took me about 10 minutes to take it out so that we could get the rest of the way in get the job done and get home now I have to put back together I have bolts in the shed put lock nuts on them and hopefully they don't come out again it's actually a year ago since we put them on we put them on just before the summer we um, changed uh, that bearing so that is what I have to do now so points four wheel drive and then going plowing I'm actually plowing at the house but I want to I'm not I don't want to show you where that plowing I want to show you plowing on land that we reclaimed that I made a video on a while ago but when I'm heading there it might be tomorrow or the next day that's when I'll pick up the rest of this but we'll go on and we'll get these changed first So now we're just putting on the last point I just said I'd, I'd show you so I took off the old one which is here in two halves quite annoying when that happens for just for whatever reason it got cracked now so while you cracked as you can see that's all rusted in there but still had a good turn and it's quite annoying but it's, it's just one of them things it just happens there's not much you can do about it so I have my new point to go in here now and I have that cleaned off so you just want to knock off all the of dirt off it so uh, put down my camera now so I can actually do this so I have where's my other one I have a new <coughs> a new point so it goes in this way you can see there's a square and a square so it goes in like that sits in flush and so you can tighten it without having to try and hold it again and then it just pops up New bolts on. And just tighten it up. So, what are the things with putting on new points or changing your points, turning them around? They, 
they are the the part that wears the most on the plow they're the bit you change the most the plow is made up of it's all wear plate it's all wear plates if i can remember rightly the bit that holds all the wear plates in here that's called the frog and you never you don't you all the wear plates are to protect your frog from wearing so that it just leaves things cheaper so you have your point your skim or no your point oh fuck i can't remember what you call them all that's the shin that's the board that's the land side christ i can't remember the names of all the bits but it's all made of individual wear plates based on the different parts that wear the most because this one this one and your shin are your heaviest wearing parts particularly the point and the reason they're interchangeable from the board is because so you can change them without changing the boards the board is the most expensive of all the wear plates so that is how that's done but as we're saying one of the things when you put on new points or you change your points one of the last things you want to do is go plow stony ground because you go plow stony ground with that nice lump of stuff sticking there eh, they're diabolical for breaking oh geez though of all the times you'll break points it's when you're after turning them when you have a nice a nice lug of stuff there that's when they break and it it just breaks your heart when you're after changing your points and you go and you break one while plowing it oh it just breaks your heart so it does so it's one of the things you do not want to do is after turning your points go plow stony ground because you, you'll just snap all your points off so that's that so, so that tight now oh so now that's that tight so i want my points changed on the plow so two new points behind the others were all okay so i just turned them around so we'll be plowing along the house first but i won't be videoing that so i want to video a different bit of ground i'll be plowing just to talk about the ground as well and showing you how to plow and all that crack so i'll just tidy up my stuff there then we're going to take into putting on back on the four wheel drive shaft on the tractor so we'll get to it so one other things i forgot to mention we changed all the main wear plates in that last year we changed some of the boards as well some of you down have may have seen the video from last year the, literally the one tillage video i did i showed just changing them so anyways now this is the fun bit starting to this uh, actually all my bits are out we were greasing them up and that so i just got to start up the tractor turn the wheel around so i can easily get in there and then the fun begins but it took me about 10 minutes to get out so i'd like to think i'll have it back in about 15 so you get to it right so i have all my bits left out there in a rag so now we go down oh, so we're going to start off going on the back shaft first so back there and then it goes to here which is the housing so line it up there and then our universal four wheel drive underneath that which that doesn't come off very easily so i have to try and work around that i got off around it so i should be able to work without it so first things first anyways behind this back shaft so that just goes on to that like that this is fun this has to go up here on the forward drive coupling so I have to the forward drive do gear doesn't really come off it's it's 
that there it just does not do anything so i just have to open up one of them in there and i can put on that slide it on bish bash bong we're finished we're ready to go plow so we'll get to this So now everyone, that has it put back together. So, shaft, coupling on, shaft on, bearing screwed in, guard back on, the Honda on that end, and that hole tidied up in there. So, that's my four hole drive fixed. So now it's time to go, well, I'll fill it with diesel and, and put water in it, and then I'm ready to go plow. So, yeah, I get out of here now and de-dust myself. Because lying on the ground, oh, this work is dirty, dusty work. Oh, Christ. So my back is quite dusty. Anyways, that is it. Just pull away my tools and yeah, clean out the cabin and then I'm ready to go do some plowing. So as I said before, I'm not going to be showing plowing right now as I'm plowing feels beside the house just the ones below where my sister was plowing and actually she's going to be taking over from me when my father gets back he's going to shake some fertilizer and then I'm going to go harrow and harrow up another bit that we've done with the 3690 it's taking over the harrowing job but um, anyways that's neither here nor there so as I was saying I'll be Continuing this video when I get to the field. I want to show you it's reclaimed ground. We reclaimed a few years ago There's a video of us reclaiming. It's like two minutes I made like two years ago is when when I was still on the phone like not even go pro times But I'll make sure that I leave one of them out card yokies there that you can click and watch it It's very little but I'll, that's I want to show you that field and show you just talk about that and plow there Because it's a bit interesting a bit more interesting than just plowing them fields out there, but that yeah, that's it. So next time you see me, we will be on the way to there.